What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today we are going through the Collector. Yesterday we went through the Trader and the day before that we went through the Bounty Hunter. So this is the last one out of the three roles. Ever since we first started getting information about these three new roles, the Collector was the one I was least excited about. I didn't think there was much there. Even when they started to talk about the stuff that you can get as a Collector, I really wasn't too excited. But as time has gone on, people have seen the Collector role and they have got very very excited for it and in return I have become very excited about it as well and with this new information I feel like this is actually going to be a very very good role to go down. To start the collector role what you need to do is go and seek out the mysterious traveling saleswoman Madame Lazar to go and acquire the collector's bag to go and get started. This collector bag just like the other roles will go and cost you 15 gold bars to go and enter but yet again there is a way to go and get it for free. If you go on GTA and go and collect all 54 hidden playing cards which you can go and get and are located around the world of GTA you can then come back to Red Dead Online and go and get this collector's bag for free which means you do not have to go and pay the 15 gold bars. With the collector you will be able to go and explore the world finding valuable treasures whether it be discarded tarot cards in abandoned camps, buried treasures unearthed with your trusty shovel, hidden family heirlooms and more. And with everything you find you can either decide to go and sell it as an individual individual piece or you can go and collect it which will then be part of a set and then that set will actually go for even more money. So as the player you then get to decide whether or not you want to quickly go and get something, quickly go and sell it on from say 5 maybe even $10 or you can keep on collecting, keep on collecting, building up a bunch of different sets and then sell them all at once and maybe you'll be able to go and get like 50, 60, somewhere around there for each set that you get. How many items there are in each set? No one really knows but I would say you're looking at at least free to go and get. As you progress through the collector you'll be able to go and get yourself a bunch of different items as well as a bunch of cool looking skills. You'll be able to go and get more useful tools like a metal detector. You'll be able to increase the amount of stuff that you can carry, the ability for your horse to directly pluck and pass herbs to you whilst you are mounted. You can also go and get a bunch of unique collector skills such as divination which is the scent when you're near collectibles. You can then go and get the Pennington field shovel. You can then go and get potential which detects disturbed earth when using eagle eye. You got intuition which will narrow your search area. You can then go and get a horse saddle upgrade. You can then go and get refined binoculars which is a specialized binoculars that make dig sites glow from a great distance. You can get the Arguila machete. You can go and get a metal detector. You can unlock equine assistance which is what it's called for going to collect herbs from horseback. You can then go and get your hands on a horse lantern and then you can also get a valuable satchel upgrade. All of the this is very very big stuff for the collector. The valuable satchel upgrade as well also is benefited because also noted in this newswire is that jewelry as well as other valuables within the game currently will be improved meaning that they will most likely go up in price. So I don't feel like they're going to be going up massively but even if it is say 25 cents here and there it's more money and you then have a satchel upgrade which means you can then hold more. Currently you can only get a stack of free when it is a specific piece of jewelry. But anyway guys that is everything you need to know about the new collector role that will be dropping next week for that summer update. This, like I said right at the beginning, has been something where I didn't think I was going to be too interested in it. But now that we've got a lot more information, there is a lot of stuff there that's going to be very good and a lot of stuff there that will cross over to other roles as well. But as always, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to go and read them. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. Cecilia.